Subscribe to Rajshree Food and click on the bell icon for more updates. Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. I'm your host Ruchi Bharani. In today's episode, I'm going to be making a sweet and sour tamarind chutney. It is very simple to make and goes with a variety of savory Indian snacks. So let's see how. Let's start with soaking the tamarind. So I have 50 grams of tamarind here. Into this, I'm going to add a cup of hot water and let this soak for at least 15 to 20 minutes. So 20 minutes are up and now I'm going to cheat a little bit and grind this into a paste in the blender. Don't add all the water yet, just add the tamarind in first. Let's just grind this now. There's a smooth pulp of the tamarind and now I'm going to strain this pulp. Let's add all the water that we use for soaking and strain it properly. Make sure you remove all the pulp properly and you can add some water if you wish to do so. And this is done. The tamarind pulp is ready and now I'm going to start cooking it in a pan. Let's cook the tamarind pulp for at least 2 to 3 minutes. After 2 to 3 minutes, let's add in jaggery. So I had taken around 50 grams of tamarind. Into this, I'm going to add 100 grams of jaggery. You could even make this chutney by using only sugar. So if you want to do that, you can use 100 grams of sugar instead of jaggery. Or you could do 50-50 as well. The total quantity of water that I've used for this chutney is 2 cups. 1 cup of hot water while soaking and 1 cup I used while straining the pulp. Now into this, I'm going to add all the dry spices. First, 1 teaspoon of coriander and cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon of sanchal or black salt, half a teaspoon of dry ginger powder, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, a little salt. Boil the chutney for at least 3 to 4 minutes. To test the chutney if it's ready, we need to do the one string test. So let's take a little bit in your finger and once you see it forming a one string thread, that means it's done. This is done and before turning off the flame, I like to add some sesame seeds into this. One teaspoon of sesame seeds. And now let's turn off the flame. Enjoy this tangy chutney with your crunchy, crispy fried snacks and do give this a try. Comment below and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.